earlier, I was talking about most of our smaller businesses tend mm-hmm. to be advertising the category they're in, right? right? So if I'm a consumer and I am choosing between options and I genuinely feel like everyone's the same. Mm-hmm. Price is the only sensitivity. Absolutely. You have forced yourself into a price conversation all day long. What changes that though, is if you are in where there's a longer sales cycle. So let's mm-hmm. say I have a salesperson involved. Now where you can have some relationship creep in there. I might be willing as a consumer to pay a little more for the guy or the gal that I, that I really like. Maybe there's- Or a, your guard will be down, your, your guard won't be as high to it so you'd be more open to recommendations because there's rapport. Or yes, yeah, there's rapport mm-hmm. and there's also maybe a halo effect from sure. them that I have an expectation that everybody I work with now everybody is going to be wants to, Everybody wants to be sold. Like Let's be this, clear. Like I, I hate when people say everybody wants to be sold, right? To be flat, to be flirted with, to be flattered. Everybody wants it and they are tend to operate better and care less about price when those things happen. Yeah. There's no, there's no other way around. You want right. to be sold, right. especially people in sales. Well, I want to talk to you about that. Please. But the thing that the thing that drives this relationship battle now with the salesperson. So now you've got price still still driving the car, but you've got sitting in the passenger seat is a is a nice salesperson who they want to do business with. You'll still lose that often. Well, on if price. you're using the low price to get them in, and then all of a sudden you gouge them because the salesperson is too confident and they think they can get more, then you're well, even, false advertising. Even mm-hmm. with the even with the great salesperson, okay, <clears throat> it's just it's just not it's not a very comfortable place to compete. So no wonder I work with so many businesses where they complain about their salespeople complaining about price. I don't blame them because you've given them nothing else to compete with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's the difference: we get a car. We're driving, we've got Price as a driver. We've got the relationship salesperson now in the front. That's what most people are competing. When we compete on value, price becomes more elastic. The, even your salesperson becomes less critical. How many times have we heard people, business owners, they're scared to death of losing their top salesperson? Why? Because they know that they are accounting for 20%, 40% of their business, right? They go, there goes the business. That's another very vulnerable position yeah. to compete as a business owner. Yeah. What we want is we want that car now with value as the driver and the relationship and the and the price, which right. it, the price is now in the trunk. Yeah. Okay? Because I don't care how good we are yeah. in delivering, price is always a factor. Yeah. But that elasticity gives them the flexibility to be their best salesperson, yes, the best But salesperson. how many times have we been in this position as, as consumers ourselves where you want something so badly because you see the value and you're just going, oh my gosh, tell me the price. I know it's good. I, you, you have an expectation, right? Yeah. 